Jazz star Al Jarreau was born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and now lives in Los Angeles. His first pop hit has been moving steadily up the countdown for five weeks now. It's at number 20, and it's from the number one jazz LP in the country called Breaking Away. Here's We're In This Love Together. You're hearing the 40 biggest hits in the nation. This is American Top 40. My name's Casey Kasem, and the countdown continues. Number 21. The jazz and pop singer billing himself these days is just Jero is at number 21 for a second week with Morning. Sitting in for Casey Kasem, I'm Charlie Van Dyke, and these are the hottest hits in the USA. Now, listen to the sound of this very rare instrument. Sounds like a guitar, but it's really a one-of-a-kind instrument. The voice of Al Jarreau. Al's won Grammys in 1978 and 79 as best jazz vocalist, and he's been called the man with an orchestra in his throat. And that's because with his voice, he can mimic so many different instruments. Got a couple of more. Al as a flute. And now here he is getting a little brassy, making like a trumpet. Algero has said that this technique of imitating instruments isn't new to music. Quote, it's an extension of what jazz vocalists have always done with improvisation. My influences were guys like John Hendricks of Lambert, Hendricks, and Ross. Like him, I scat sing, but I use my own sounds. End of quote. This week, it's the sound of Algero's singing voice climbing the countdown. Non-scat, he's at number 23 with the theme from Moonlighting. Al Jarreau with the theme from Moonlighting. Lighten up the chart at number 23, up four notches. Third week in the top 40 as the countdown continues. Casey's Coast to Coast.